Here Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Oh, uh, no. Man, is this school in Tulsa school? Oklahoma City and Tulsa always on first 48. Keep me away from them. Nah, I'm scared. I don't care what y'all say. I'm scared. All right, boys. Five cities that deserve an NFL franchise and five cities that should lose their NFL franchise. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, LA deserves it, but LA don't respect the teams. I don't know about it. If it's not a Lakers game, I mean, people go to the Rams and Chargers games, but they don't really, it's not like fans, like diehard fans, like it was in San Diego and like it was in St. Louis. Um, even even the Raiders, they they get out, they get out, uh, I guess, crowded in, L in Vegas. Let's dive into five cities that deserve a new NFL franchise and five that should lose I wish theirs. I talk like this. Deserve Oakland, California. Let's kick things off in the Bay Area with Oakland, California. I just didn't know Oakland was so violent. Like the crime rate is high. I didn't know that. And San Francisco, the crime rate is high. City that knows a thing or two about football. It's honestly kind of tragic that the city lost its iconic NFL franchise, especially when you consider what a raw deal they have gotten with all their sports teams in recent years. Yeah. First, the Golden State Warriors got ripped out of Oakland, then the Raiders. Now it looks like the Athletics will be next. Just a terrible turn of event for a city that lives- Yo, that's crazy. I forgot they did lose the Warriors. They lost the Raiders and losing Athletics. What other sport is in Oakland still? and breathes its sports and of course has some of the best fans in the entire country <laughs> yo you can't tell me he don't just drop his hair on like this who, who in this chat got this cut i know one of y'all do tree the raiders called oakland home for decades and the fan base affectionately known next as the time y'all do a yap session in the discord lmk i got a lot to tell you boys i thought i was gonna be a dad see and y'all worried about me Cole was one of the most passionate we really, in we really got we really got young we really got some young ones spawning under what bro and y'all worried about me the league even after the Raiders left for Las Vegas the loyalty of Oakland's fans Oakland's never wavered this is a city that bleeds in silver and black and the loss of the Raiders left a no they don't oh Oakland yes not Vegas void that still hasn't been filled it's crazy that a place with such a rich football history and one of the largest markets without an NFL team got its team ripped away this isn't just some drive-through town either Oakland has a population of over 400,000 and oh. is a part of the larger Bay Area look just saying the potential fan base is massive bringing an nfl team back to oakland would not only restore a proud football tradition but also provide a significant economic boost to the area oakland deserves a team and the nfl would be much better for it i oh. should lose nashville tennessee nashville um <sighs> nashville tennessee i'm not gonna lie to you i could see it because their stadium is terrible but where would the titans go Nebraska? I feel like the Titans are like they're a team that can go to like Oklahoma, Arkansas, maybe Mississippi. But like Nashville is okay with me. Nashville is one that's okay with me. Tennessee is a city on the rise with all the music and corporate industry investments into the area. But when it comes to the NFL, well, I think it might be tough. New one? I think I seen that. I I seen um there's another, there's a, there's somebody else who's having a, a they had a, they're one of their stadiums rendered. Um, I forget who it was. Is it this one? Oh my goodness. Yo. I mean, obviously this is a mock. This, this is what they want it to look like. It's not going to look like this. This is just a mock. This is like Top Golf. This is crazy. The Jags. That's who it is. The Jags. This is a crazy, this is crazy. Ooh, we the Jags is already um I want to say it's already pretty much I think it's already started. This one looked ridiculous. This is obviously like I said plans. This one don't even look normal. That don't ain't that dude um that that dude um I don't know what I don't know what his ethnicity or his like background is, but I know he got money. This is this is like a soccer field, and maybe they gonna host soccer games here because this ain't this ain't just gonna be no football field. Every field and every stadium is being built now is, is going to be used as a multiple venue place. Because football is only, what, six months out of the year? You got September, October, November, December, January, if you make the playoffs. So five. Nah. These are going to be multi-venue places. That's why they're doing all this other stuff on the outside. So it makes sense, though. It makes sense. 
time to reconsider its place in the league. The Tennessee well, Titans say, have called Nashville home since to... 1999, and while they've certainly had their moments, the fan support has What's been on, inconsistent, which really shouldn't be a huge shock. After all, they are in the heart of SEC country where college football reigns supreme for the football fans, yep. and I think there's enough other activities to satiate the general population. There just isn't the same appetite for NFL oh, football that you would find in many other cities around the country, and as a result, the team's struggles on the field have often been met with indifference from the local population, and the stadium atmosphere has really lacked the energy and passion seen in other NFL cities. Nashville is a fantastic city with a vibrant music scene. Now I was saying, you said a rooftop bar, was it on the stadium, or is it in Nashville. I had a fun time in Tennessee. Memphis and, and Nashville. A sub spree? Who want one? Jet, gift yourself first. <laughs> that way, take care of yourself first and then gift them out. What's good, Creepy? Seen in a growing population. Okay, my bad. I'm not calling it Creepy. I'm calling you Nat. What's good, Nat? But its market is much more suited to college football than the NFL. With other cities clamoring for really. an NFL team and Nashville's lukewarm support, it might of. just be time for the Titans to consider relocating. I, I will say, I feel like I feel like the Titans sold when they didn't draft Tina Hooker. Think about it. All the volunteer fans, even if he wasn't going to start, would have became Titans fans. Because the volunteers have a lot of fans. A lot of fans. But yeah, the stadium is the stadium is weak, bro. And we went through the, the NFL rain. thrives on passionate fan bases, and Ooh. unfortunately, Nashville has not shown the consistent enthusiasm needed. To and then y'all let him, not y'all, but the Titans let them go to a division rival. Support a franchise long term. Deserve Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas is no, no. There is already the Houston Texans. And the Dallas Cowboys, you don't need a team in the middle of them. If anything, maybe San Antonio because they have the Spurs already. Not Austin. No. Austin already has Texas Longhorns anyways. No. 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 One of the fastest growing no. cities in the United States. No. And you know, I think it's long overdue for an NFL franchise. No. With a population nearing one now, million. Okay. Outside of the Cowboys and Texas already having a team, I could see it. But no. 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 In an eventual area that's over two million people. Jack, 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 None of y'all get no subs. Not going to lie. <laughs> People, Austin is a football hotbed just waiting to explode onto the NFL scene. I was going to say Tyler Mambas. Tyler Mambas. Tyler Mambas. Yes, yeah, so similar to Nashville, the city is known for music and its love for college football, with the University of Texas Longhorns boasting one of the most passionate fan bases in the country. But you know, the Texas population has already proven its ability to rally around an NFL franchise in Houston there and Dallas. Longhorns. The fact of the matter is, is that the culture in Austin is a perfect fit for the NFL. The city is young, they vibrant, said, full of energy, said. and I think that would translate into an and electric then. atmosphere on game days. The stadium would I, be I, packed I, week I after week, and the tailgating scene would be legendary. To put it simply, I think it's they said, they said Nashville and like surrounding cities love. Uh, they said Nashville and surrounding cities pretty much. And for the NFL to plant its flag in Austin and give this football crazy city the team it deserves should lose Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville. No. Jacksonville is an actual good city. Like, it's a cool city. And they always, their fans are always there. Like, even when they weren't bad, when they weren't good, they fans still showed up. Florida has had an NFL team since 1995, but the Jaguars have really struggled to find their footing both on and off the field. But Despite some... The thing is, changing the city ain't gonna change the team. <laughs> Intermittent success, the franchise has been one of the least successful in the league, and the fan support has yeah, been steady at best. Really? And the Jaguars have often had I trouble filling good. their stadium. And there were legitimately oh. periods where they had to tarp off huge portions of the stadium just to mask their utter emptiness. Plus, the team's ownership has been flirting with moving for over a decade now. I mean, how would we feel if they became the London Jaguars? I wouldn't be opposed to it. 
I wouldn't even mind it. I'd, I'd be for it. Only because you get to travel the world. Now, the only problem is them away games is going to be terrible. So never mind. Never mind. It wouldn't work. It, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. The time difference in them away games, it wouldn't work. I mean, they play work. far and away the most home games in London. No. And while we aren't going to bang the drums for the harebrained idea of putting an NFL franchise in the UK, it might just make some it sense for work. the Jags to pack their bags and start looking for a new home domestically. Yeah. Deserve Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Uh, no! Man, is this school and Tulsa school? Oklahoma City and Tulsa always on first 48. Keep me away from them. Nah, I'm scared. I don't care what y'all say. I'm scared. Don't take me to Oklahoma, bro. No. Keep me out of here. I'm shook. Every episode starts in Tulsa. Oklahoma City Everyone. might not be the no. first place that comes to mind when you think of an NFL city. Mm -mm. But, you know, it's a market that we believe no. is right for franchise. Uh -uh. Think about the way that the city has rallied and shown support for its NBA franchise. I get it. That franchise in that city is amazing as far as sports. But I'm never traveling to an Oklahoma City Jaguars game. I'm no. In China's no. the Oklahoma City Thunder. Fans have proven to be some of the most passionate in the entire country. And okay, if they put it in the Oklahoma Sooners, I'll go. That sounds so bad for me. But I'll go. I'm not ending up on first 48, bro. I'm not. Basketball isn't. I'm, let's think, think about it. Y'all know I talk crazy when it comes to the Chargers. Let's say the Chargers play the Oklahoma City football team. Oh, you suck. I'm about to fire. I'm about to up that pole. No, you ain't gonna do nothing. Then, then I start hearing, can you stand in the rain? Start playing. No, I'm done. See? Even no. nearly as popular in the region as football. Tri That's their downtown? Yeah, they don't, they, they can't handle that. They can't handle that. Truthfully, Oklahoma is a foot. Exactly. Tulsa, Oklahoma, 418 in the morning. Hi, what's your emergency? Is somebody laying on? I was just pumping gas. And it's just, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. All right, well, what's we'll the we'll office to your location? Ball State, with a rich tradition of college football, and that passion could easily translate to the NFL. And while larger markets might not recognize it, OKC is, is a young and exciting either. city with a population sure, that is growing. State. And with a metro area of over 1. Utah is a very weirdish state. I'm not going to lie to you. Four it's, million it's like, people. OK, to say it's not a good state is crazy. It's just like a, I don't know, it's an eerie feeling. This one right here, honestly, just feels like a no-brainer. Should lose Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina. The only reason I say they should lose it is because Panthers fans don't appreciate the, the Panthers. But the only problem with that is they don't, the owner is terrible. That's why. The owner, owner is terrible. But also their stadium is terrible. The, Charlotte, the Panthers stadium is garbage. Carolina has been home to the Carolina Panthers since 1990. I wouldn't mind like a St. Louis Panthers. Five. But the city's relationship Sounds with it. its NFL team has been a roller coaster ride. The Panthers have had some great moments, including two Super Bowl appearances. But the fan support has just been really inconsistent, especially during the team's down years. There have been multiple extended periods of time during which the Panthers stadium, now called the Bank of America Stadium, has struggled to fill up. Charlotte is a growing city with a lot of potential no, due to not. corporate interest Investing. Charlotte is already popular. <laughs> Charlotte is already popular. And I didn't realize until I went back home. In the area. But it's also a market that is saturated with college sports, particularly college basketball. And unfortunately, yeah. there just isn't that same passion for football as some of the other cities that That is that is low-key very, very, very true. So Carolina in general is supposed to be for the Carolina Panthers. The Carolina Panthers are for South and North Carolina. When you think about it though, Carolina has South Carolina football, Clemson football, UNC football, Duke football, and both UNC and Duke football just got good. There's uh, App State. There's uh, uh, what, what is the what is the goal team I'm thinking of? I can't think of it right now. But you have um, a couple of HBCUs here, here and there, and that's just football. You go to basketball, UNC, Duke, NC State, NC State. South Carolina, Clemson basketball. Like it's just it, Wake Forest. It's just a lot of it's a lot of colleges. It's a lot of colleges in there. That have had even six. UNCC is on the map a little bit now. Successful NFL. And players. we all don't like each other, bro. Chises deserve St. Louis, Missouri. 
St. Louis is a city with a long-standing love affair with football, and it is a damn shame that the NFL has isolated and ultimately ostracized a huge chunk of extremely passionate fans by the way that it has treated the city. The Rams called St. Louis home for over two decades, and despite the team's struggles on the field, the city supported the team with unwavering loyalty. The decision to move the Rams to Los Angeles was met with outrage from the St. Louis fan base, and the city has been yearning for an NFL team ever since. And of course, for Stan Kroenke's head. And you know what? The good people of St. Louis have reason to be upset. It really makes no sense that they got their team taken away. The infrastructure is already- Hey, any of y'all in chat related to Stan Kroenke? I feel like we should line him. In GTA. Place with the dome at America's center he providing owned, a- He owned five teams. Bruh's bored. He got- he, he already got max prestige. Potential temporary home while building a new stadium. And the city's saying? central location makes it an ideal this spot for an powerful. NFL franchise, as it makes it very easy for fans and teams. St. Louis really deserves a second chance at the NFL, and there is no question that the city would fully embrace a new team. And of course, it would be able to support it. St. Louis proper has a population of over 300,000 people, and the greater area scales really? up to around 3 million. It just yeah, makes no sense awesome. that they wouldn't have a team. Both the market and the fans are are more than ready for it. Like, we can all jump him and win, I think. They can't stop us all. Should lose? Los Angeles, California. I agree. All right, well, Los Angeles may have many of the prerequisites to be an NFL powerhouse, you know, glamour, a massive population, and a history of sports excellence. It just hasn't really translated to reality. Because when it comes to football, LA just doesn't seem to have that same passion that it does for basketball or baseball, or heck, any of the other massive industries yep. that it supports. Because it's crazy because the Padres were bad. I mean, the Padres are going to make the playoffs this year, but Padres were never like really, really like crazy good, and their fans still show up, including Despite me. being the second largest media market in the country, the city's relationship with the NFL has always been lukewarm at best. The Rams and Chargers, both recent additions to the city, have struggled to build a dedicated fan base that matches the fervor seen in smaller, more football-centric cities. The Rams returned to LA in 2016 after a 21-year stint in St. Louis. And they have had some success on the field, including a Super Bowl win. So, somewhat expectedly, the attendance and fan engagement has been fairly respectable. The Chargers, on the other hand, who relocated from San Diego in 2017, have fared far worse in terms of fans. This looks like a home game for the Rams, um, I mean for the Niners. No, the Rams in LA don't either. The Rams have won a Super Bowl and they still get outsold like this. This is a division game. This might be a playoff game. This was like last year, two years ago. This is a, this is red. No, bro. Neither team belongs in LA for football. It's just they didn't have a football team in LA. It's just stupid. They, you know, LA is a city where they need they need a three. They need they need a they need a football game. They need a football team, basketball team, hockey team, um, and then all in far in between. My bad like away games with opposing teams fans outnumbering Chargers supporters in their own but the thing about it is no matter what softy Rams fans get out Rams fans okay the Rams in SoFi the Chargers in SoFi and the Raiders in uh, Legion Stadium it's away games the entire season don't let these fans fool you. Stadium. I wouldn't it's, go as far as to suggest terrible. that both teams like be removed from the city of angels, but uh, I think one team is plenty. And based on the way that the franchises have performed thus far, I think it's only right that the Chargers accept that this town ain't big enough for the two of them and find a new city to play in. Deserve okay. Columbus, Ohio. Ugh. Ain't no way I'm going to Columbus for an NFL game. They got Ohio State. Ugh. That is nasty. When it comes to football, Columbus, no doubt, bleeds this sport. The city is home to the Ohio State University, one of the most storied college football programs in no. history. And the region is a football hotbed. The people no. there live and breathe the game, and they've proven time and time again that they're some of the most dedicated and passionate fans no. in the entire country. No. It's actually kind of shocking that the NFL hasn't already taken The about it is Ohio State would outsell every football program that came to Ohio, whether it's NFL, N MFL, IFL, Laundry Football League. It, it could be a stripper bowl. And they will still show up to the Ohio State Buckeye. They, it could be a stripper bowl with every bad girl you could think of. On the same day as a Buckeyes game. And I guarantee they'll go to the Buckeyes game first. Get out of here. Into this diehard fan base. Ohio may already have two NFL franchises with the Browns and exactly. Cleveland, and the Bengals and Cincy. But Columbus and is if the we're state. Being real, 
Would y'all say there's more Browns fans than Bengals fans? Capital in the largest city in Ohio now, as it boasts a growing population like of nearly 900,000 people in a metro area that like, reaches over like 2 million. Like and statement. the people there have proven to be incredibly passionate about like, professional sports. I feel like sport. if it's close like that, I'm giving I'm giving the ass to Browns. What's with the way that they've taken to and supported the city's two current professional franchises, the crew in the MLS and the Blue Jackets in the NHL. The addition of an NFL team could fill a void in the city's sports landscape, creating a perfect balance between college and professional football. Should lose. East Rutherford, New Jersey. All right, how about this for an extremely basic reason that East Rutherford should lose an NFL team? Most NFL fans don't even know that East Rutherford. I never understood this. Not the team, but I, I, I never understood why the team wasn't in New York. I never understood that. <laughs> this is weird. I just like um. Who who else is it? It's another team. But I, I say they just move them both. I don't think it's not. Is there a room in New York to even just spawn a stadium? It's where the Jets and Giants play their home games. On the surface, this might seem like a great setup with two iconic franchises sharing a state of the art stadium. I think stadium. no matter what, the Jets and Giants should, stare, should share uh, stadiums no matter what. I feel like if you break this tradition, You'll lo you like you lo you'd lose me, bro. We already got kickoffs coming from the fifty-five. Yep. But the reality is, is that East Rutherford That's isn't what it exactly is. the the Cowboys playing Orange. They only playing Dallas. That's what it was. I didn't realize that until I got out there, and I was like Dallas, and I looked up the stadium, and it was like forty minutes away, and it, it was in Arlington. Crazy. Ideal location for an NFL team, let alone two. Now the problem That's isn't necessarily. You know what I didn't know? Why? I didn't know. The Commanders and the Ravens was literally 30 minutes apart. I would love to play that game. The teams like if, I, if, I'm, if I'm a Heck Commanders player or a Ravens player, I would love, I would love that week because you wouldn't have to do anything. Even the fans in the area, but just more so due to the location itself and the logistics of hosting two franchises in a suburban area that lacks the vibrancy and engagement of a major city. These are supposed to be the NFL's two New York franchises, and putting them in a borderline suburb in New Jersey, no less, is just an abomination. I mean, it, it ain't far. But hey, which NFL city do you think Anybody should lose their Live in New York? Can't you take a, 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 a subway or a train, something from, from New York to New Jersey? Franchise. Which do you think maybe deserves an expansion team? What do you think we got wrong here? What do you think we got right? Was there any city that we may have missed? Let yeah. us know in the comment section below.